The most important thing is for us to be a club that the community and our fans can be proud of. At the end of the day, a sports team, irrespective of who owns it, a sports team is a community asset. You know, we are still the same historical soccer club that has five championships, including an Open Cup. That hasn't changed. What has changed is that we've evolved uh, from a name, from our logo, but we're still the same club. We still have all those championships. And I think if you look at what we're doing, the one thing that has been constant through our entire history is we win. We had tremendous success uh, during those nine years while I was head coach. As a matter of fact, I kind of feel uh, shorted a little bit because I think I could have won more than four championships. <laughs> we had occasion where we could have definitely won at least two more. Okay, I'm Pat Ercole. I'm the president of RNYFC, originally the president of the Rochester Rhinos. Uh, I've existed with the club since 1996. When you speak about Pat Ercole, you speak about someone who is a kind of like Yoda. You know, he's been around forever. And that's a good thing because you have continuity of leadership. I guess I'm the guy they come to uh, for the solutions to the difficult questions. Uh, maybe because of my history and my background. Pat has seen the Rhino logo itself change. You know, the Rhino had, uh, was a charging Rhino. We were the raging Rhinos and became the Rhinos. We had a Rhino with a soccer ball going through the horn of a rhinoceros. But at the end of the day, speaking to Pat and asking him, not only as someone involved in the club for decades, but also as a fan, a coach, his thoughts on that are not only relevant, they're important. And at the end of the day, he was as much involved as we all were. Uh, when you rebrand like that is how do you get that message out to everybody that's part of this community? And I, so I don't think it's a, it's a problem rebranding. The problem is making sure that the community gets to hear that and knows who they're dealing with. There were quite a number of people who were involved in the rebrand. Uh, domestically and internationally. Jamie was involved, Jamie Vardy was involved. In addition to that, we also sought out the thoughts from our supporters, as well as from our fan base. So we took different age groups, uh, different uh, folks who have been season ticket holders, and basically had them ask, we, we asked them what they thought about the uh, potential logos, we asked questions about it. And interestingly enough, um, one of them was the supporter group. We actually had Jamie hop on the call at the end or toward the beginning. We took it upon ourselves, you know, the Vardy group out of England, our group out of Rochester. But for the most part, we looked at every possible name we could could try to find. And RNYFC was one that kind of rang true to us, being, being in Rochester, New York. Hi, my name is Lee Tucker. I'm sporting director of RNYFC. For me, logos and names and colours that a team wears are not, in, not as important as the people that are within the club, the connections that they have with the fans and their partners, how they behave on a daily basis, the values that they hold, um, the way they conduct themselves. Those are things for me that we should be really concerned with. Um, you know, the, the, the logos and, and the team names are always going to be there and, and, and that's fine, I'm not disputing the importance of that. But for me, the important thing is how we, how we, you know, like I say, conduct ourselves on a daily basis with, with a bit of class and, and the values and hopefully models that we have that, you know, um, our fans and our community can be proud of. It is a community asset and we, I think, are and will continue to be uh, proud of the community we're in and doing a job and an experience that uh, I think is second to none.